my journey into coaching at Heretz has been a slightly unique, I suppose, in terms of um, I've, I've not coached anywhere else within the club. I've, I've been playing for the last um, eight years at the club through the Super Six when I first started. Um, but my coaching has been mainly away from Heriot's. Uh, I'm the head of rugby at Stuart's Melville College and that's my, my, my day job if you like. And Once I finished playing the Super Six last year, um, I thankfully got the opportunity to, to move into coaching within the attack and the backs area of, of the game and it's something that I was uh, really pleased to, to get stuck into and I'm absolutely loving it so far. Now, I've, had, I've had loads of support and I've been really, really lucky. Um, I'm still pretty early on in my coaching career if you like, I'm only 30. I am. I'm still learning as I go every day and I done my ACL when I was 24 playing for Heriots against Burry Muir and um, at Megatland and from there I got into doing my UKC C level 3 at the time um, which kind of sparked my interest for coaching. I wasn't doing my job at Stuart Melville uh, in its current role at the time and done a bit of Edinburgh district stuff um, for the regional programme and then got an opportunity to coach the Scotland under 16 Reds with Brian Eason who's the current women's coach and that really gave me the first taste of what that next level of high performance coaching looked like. Um, so I moved on the year after to do the under 16 head coach role when Brian moved on and then the year after that into the under 18s before COVID um, came around. So I've been really lucky to have the support I've had from the SRU to, to kick me on and it's, it's motivated me to keep on trying to get better and, and to move forward and this is hopefully the next step within that journey. got three or four of my best mates in this team um, alongside you know 10 12 other guys that I'm very close with guys that I've played with for years and um, you know you kind of question yourself as to you know am I, am I doing the right thing am I am I saying the right thing am I delivering the, the content good enough for this level but after a few weeks I was fine I was I was confident in what I was doing and um, it's just kind of making that line clear with the guys that I know really well that you know, when we're coaching and the coaching, they're the players, and then when we're off the pitch, we're back to being friends. Yeah, it's interesting. People ask that question quite a lot, and I think when I, the first season that came around, I didn't really feel like the the skill level was much different, but the, the physicality was was, was at a higher level. Obviously, because teams are now using more S and C provision, and they're, they're they're training more off off pitch. And I remember feeling worse on Sundays than I felt previous years in, in the national leagues or Premiership. Um, just purely because of the physicality that the other teams were bringing to the league. I think now, uh, at the stage we're at within the Super Six, the, the skill level is also matched. That physicality, and it's became a you know a real challenging league to compete within. And every game's hard. Um, you know, every team's well prepared. You've got to do your analysis to a level that's above what was before um, to ensure you can try and pick off the small areas that other teams are trying to um, get you with, and also how you can maybe get them. So, I think the whole on and off pitch level is, is increased um, to the point where you know if you're not on the ball you're not prepared then you see the results on a Saturday um, and I can only see that getting more and more as, as time moves on. We, we need to use this league as a springboard for, for the kids that are coming through the the age grade programmes I think we're slowly getting there as a league I know we, we're certainly conscious of that here we need to keep on pushing through more and more you know um, under 18 and under 20 players, stage three players, or players that have missed that, that bracket and are coming in a little bit later. So I think the league in itself is probably still finding its feet. I don't think it's at its, its stage where it, we're, we're happy with where it's at. I don't think we, we need to keep on striving towards getting a blend of balance of experience because it's important to get those guys that are, you know, the, the tail end of their career, but have been around for 10 years, but also having the guys that are coming through aspirations to play for Scotland um, and, and finding that balance within clubs and then within the wider league itself is, is a challenge but I think if that's at the forefront of our ambitions then we'll, we'll be in a good place. I don't know, I'm not trying to get too far ahead of myself, I'm, I'm, I'm conscious I've got loads to learn, it's my first year coaching adults. I want to do really well for the club, that's my only ambition at the moment is to head at Super 6 and do as well as we possibly can, hopefully win the, win the competition, that's our, our ultimate aim. Um, and then where the next two or three years take us, we'll, we'll see who we go. But I, I'm not getting too, head, too far ahead of myself at the moment. I just want to make sure that we, we do a good job here and then um, what comes in the back of that will, will be what we...